Welcome back to GB Guns and the GBGunsDepot.com. We've got another shipment from Steel to Reel. Those of you that have been with us for a while recall, I think it was back in May, we did one of these. A while ago. This is one of those subscription club boxes where you pay a certain amount for monthly shipments of goods, or in the case of Steel to Reel, for a bigger amount, you just get quarterly shipments with all the stuff from the monthly shipments plus some extra goodies. Today we're going to take a look at what comes in the late summer 2021 video. Coming up next on GB Guns. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we uh, do have bees out here because we are in the backyard, <laughs> not the range. So pardon the lack of gunfire in the background. <laughs> Anyways, Tia, what uh, what all did we get in this shipment? Well, this shipment came just in time for everybody who's getting ready for hunting. Um, you know, bow season is coming up, followed by rifle season in most states. The one thing that is similar from the previous is the um, the Ready Man. These nifty little credit card size tools. This particular one is saw blades. Um, and I didn't read my cheat sheet for it like I should have. All of this stuff, by the way, we've looked up and found independently. So if you're curious in just one of these items, uh, the GB Guns Depot will be your place to see where that is. Uh, the last of these Ready Man cards had snares and fish hooks and all that kind of stuff. This one... Uh, it's called the Hostage Escape card, which... <laughs> I think it's just perfect to have in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, not a bad idea. It looks like we've got some lock picking tools and a little saw blade and it's all on a stainless steel sheet. Next is the ultralight compact purifier. These things are indisposable. It beats having to carry tablets around with you that could, you know, lose their um, I mean, they could disintegrate in your bag. You could open them and lose them. You dump more than one when you don't need it. It's a water purifier, and from what I've researched, you fill this base cup and then smash down this top cup, which forces all the water through the filter at the bottom, which I think is pretty cool. I imagine it takes a wee bit of force to do since it's already a pretty tight seal when you smash it in there without water. But... Uh, yeah, I and mean the back of the packaging shows somebody pressing down from above. And the seal is enough that when testing it without water, if the cap was on, um, it, it did not go down. So you would definitely, um, it, it wants to move something. So it's, it's really sealed, therefore going to do its job really well. And certainly handy for folks like us in the Pacific Northwest, where there's usually some running water, w running water somewhere nearby when we're out in the woods filming. Uh, some survival food handy. supplement tablets. Those are great to throw in your bag along with that water purifier, and you could be good for some time if you had, if that's all you had to rely on. Um, we haven't tried them because I'm a believer in having some kind of backup supplies. But Graham's gonna try them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's food, and they say they're chocolate flavored. It's it's one tablet oh. or two tablets every twelve hours. I don't know how I feel about this. My great grandmother used to give these to me. <laughs> 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 it looks like a little vitamin, vitamin pellet. It's interesting though. I expected them to be kind of a like gummy, if you will, not a powdered tablet. I'll forego for now. <laughs> I was thinking like a toffee. Are you sure? It's pretty good. Okay, I'll try it. I was expecting like a toffee type thing. Um, these chew up, it's kind of like, uh, if you've ever just, what's that term for your pre-workout? Dry scoop. <laughs> like when you just dry scoop some hot cocoa. That's kind of what it tastes like. Not too bad, I think that's worth having around. Another absolute must in any survival kit, backpack, you know, I've got a little box in the back of my car, is something to be able to start a fire with. This is the live fire. Little, we didn't open it. No. But, because I think preservation is key. Yeah, it, that's kind of the tough thing is, you get this cool stuff and you want to try it out, but as soon as you try it out, now it's no longer sealed and ready to go. This is supposed to be a water retardant thing and the concept of it being in this little tin that's slidable is uh, you open it up, 
scrape up some of the fibers uh, and light those and you can use the lid of the tin sort of as a throttle control mm -hmm. on how much of it's burning. Um, it's just kind of some probably petroleum saturated fibers would be my guess. And in case it's dark while you're trying to get all of that going, you can always hook a flashlight onto your bag. This one has its little thing and it's rechargeable um, by USB. Yeah, we've, we've already opened it because we wanted to check some stuff out. We also have photos uh, over on gbgunsdepot.com while we're taking a look at it. Um, a little USB chargeable flashlight that, of course, lights out the end and can strobe and then can light from Ooh, the side. So bright. Um, a little painfully bright <laughs> even out <laughs> here in the daylight. And you might be wondering what the heck good USB rechargeable flashlight is. Well, this box also has a solution for that. Yes, but let's say it's not dark when you get to camp. You know you're gonna need a fire. This Hori Hori garden tool would be the dream for collecting the small brush um, twigs and branches to maintain that fire um, as it starts to get dark. And that's right, folks. She said Hori Hori. It is. <laughs> we looked it up. <laughs> it's actually a Japanese term the, I forget what the, the English word is now, when you have a word that is for the sound of something. I'm sure one of you can comment down below on what that is, but Hori is the Japanese sound name for digging. Like Hori, Hori, you know, as you're digging in. I don't know, but I like that it's got this weeding tip on here. It also has some measurements, so you know how deep you're going and a way to cut. It's by Fiskars, which is pretty nice, and comes with a sheath. This is something that uh, we certainly need in our yard here in the Northwest. <laughs> we have invasive blackberries, which are cute and tasty until they're crawling into your yard. Now a brief segue brought to us by a small airplane. We all know it gets dark eventually. And as Graham mentioned, we had a solution to keeping our USB products charged. This hybrid six piece solar pro kit by Hyperlight is hybrid light hybrid light excuse me um absolutely amazing i get giddy when we get these boxes and even more so as we start going through them and this particular item did not fall short in that at all no in fact we've already used it quite a bit even prior to <laughs> filming this uh, it has been handy <laughs> all of the lights you see in here a a big lantern this bendable one which has a front side and an end uh, a small, I'm assuming waterproof floating type thing because it's kind of built like that. We haven't tested that yet. Um, the bendy flush. one also has um, a place you can plug it into the wall. Yeah, uh, which is pretty cool. And these all have hooks on them so you can hang them. They're magnetized, some of them. This one expands to be a lantern or just a light, but these are all solar powered and they charge rather quickly. You can see the solar panels on top um, and some of them even have a USB out so you can keep your phone charged, um, not your small airplane, which seems to have made a second pass over the house now. <laughs> Stupid CIA. <laughs> but anyways, um, pretty neat. Um, this puck here, you notice has a speaker on it. That's because it's um, an AM FM radio and Bluetooth speaker, and it can serve as a light, and it can charge your phone. Uh, pretty neat deal. I can see popping up this hook and hanging it inside the tent or something like that as uh, something pretty handy, not just for survival, but also for- It's on. No. There's a red indicator on it. Oh, well, that's because it's charging. It's charging. Oh. Because we've opened it up and it's daylight out. That's so cool. Um, and <laughs> a little headlamp that uh, is detachable and adjustable. Bends down here, is also USB chargeable. Um, this one we've already used. Yeah, sorry about the grease marks on it. My <laughs> rifle was dirty and I couldn't see very well. <laughs> <laughs> but really handy kit, comes with your cables, um, even that looks like the micro type that uh, fits whatever the communists use, Apple stuff. Um, but anyways, um, very cool kit. Um, the This thing, we looked at the pricing, I'm trying to remember, I think it was 280. This particular kit, $280. But it's got everything you might Oh, it's, it's absolutely perfect. 
And if that's, you know, a little bit more than what you need, you only need one light. They also sent us the single um, version of the, the... The Puck 150. The Puck 150. I wondered <laughs> where he was getting this word. <laughs> oh, and this is that one that is the accordion style as Tio is gesturing. Um, solar charging up top. There's your hanger hook. A battery indicator, which is lit up right now because it's charging because we opened the box. That is so cool. And you can have open here. It's got very multiple levels of brightness. Uh, or you can keep it closed and just have it as a hanging light puck or handheld, however you want to use it. Now I say 280 like it's, you know, a lot of money and that may well be, but when you hear at the end how much this total package costs and then consider that in what your monthly subscription fees are, it's very much worth it. So now that we've gathered our firewood, <laughs> made our fire, got our lights out, um, we also received this the aftershock preparedness 48 hour survival kit and i don't know about y'all but once you get camp set up and things the last thing you want to have to worry about is cooking and i find this a perfect solution but again we're not going to try it because i like to remain a little prepared <laughs> <laughs> yeah i opened the box because i myself was curious how this stuff looked how it was packaged um and it's all in these sealed bags oh. that are re reclosable um, oh, I like this. But we noticed... <laughs> you only have to mix up a small portion of it. Yeah, you can mix up what you want and then reclose it. There's a little Ziploc pouch in there. I believe this stuff is supposed to be 25 year shelf life stable um, out of the box. The... Um, yeah, it is... I'm new to survival food prep stuff outside of MREs that, of course, were given to me in the army and I devoured usually within 48 hours of receiving because I was hungry. Um, <laughs> seeing uh, the stuff like this, uh, I've seen some reviews of packages that aren't resealable. Um, it tends to come in servings of five per bag just to reduce the amount of bags. And if it's not resealable, then you've got to eat your, you know, in this case, Cajun pastalaya. <laughs> over and over and over again until it's all gone. I'm thinking, given the names of some of this stuff, that we might might just have to delve into this one. Dried fruit, I mean, you could do so much with that. Um, it, if you had another type of box that maybe had some pancake mix in it, mix the two, some chili mac, taco rice skillet, so... And something else I've noticed with these, um, a lot of the freeze-dried or um, survivalist food stuff. One of the complaints I've heard from a lot of folks is it tends to be nothing but carbs and sodium. And uh, just looking like this Cajun pastalaya is only 6% of your sodium. Uh, the harvest chicken and rice stew, only 1%. How's the taco rice skillet? Uh, carbs are 44 grams. Sodium is only 170 milligrams. So really, I mean, you would just be, be replenishing the fuel that you spent throughout the day. Um, doing whatever you needed to be doing to survive. Oh, and here we go, some mixed berry oatmeal. That sounds amazing. Chili Mac. I okay. may have skipped lunch. The Chili Mac is the uh, the sodium bomb, but that's kind of what we expect, and that's also what makes Chili Mac so tasty. And then some chocolate wheat cereal. So a pretty good, you know, balanced meal box um, for a really great price. And we've got a, a total of nine different food items here, so it's not like uh, in those 48 hours you're going to get bored or run out of what you want to put, what you want to eat when. Somebody um, might get hungry, but I tend that's to. a never-ending battle. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, because this has been very entertaining, <laughs> is the Climate um, Life Water Dinghy. little one-person raft. Go ahead and... Light water dinghy. Light water. I just got off work. <laughs> <laughs> so she says entertaining because we've already inflated this thing a couple times. Um, this little package that weighs 44 ounces um, inflates to a dinghy that's pretty decent. Uh, Tia fits in it really well. I kind of fit in it. <laughs> But what makes this so cool is this bag that it is stored in is the inflation device. Very small, 
very easily inflated. It takes about 10 minutes. In Help Me Orange, um, <laughs> which is pretty good if you're using this for survival side. The uh, water side is blue, of course. But yeah, the... The bottom of the bag hooks onto the valves and the bag then you it gets air you roll it up you push it into the into the bag and it's done what's also cool about this is once you're finished finished i can't speak today um all of your gear that we've previously unpacked fits in here and is waterproof because of the way that it seals up and i just thought this was the coolest thing ever yeah so if you needed to to use this thing for survival or if you're just hanging out at the river one day <laughs> the same bag you carried down to the river you use to inflate this raft and then your clothes whatever you want to keep dry along with a little bit of air you seal up in that thing and take it with you and you're good to go until you get back to dry land yeah it's pretty cool it is so uh, this being the top level of steel to reel uh, it's a quarterly fee or quarterly charge of 399 and what was our total value on this box? $688 if, if you were to buy each item individually. Which is once again one heck of a savings just like it was with last quarter shipment. Uh, this time now that we have GB Guns Depot going, if you want to find any of this stuff individually and see a little, learn a little bit more about it, check out our article on GBGunsDepot.com. Thanks for watching.